David, so you, you, you play the, you, you, Bob. Mm -hmm. uh, who is he and why, why, why is he important? Bob is the chief of the station of the CIA annex that was in Benghazi. Um, he, uh, there's very little known about his biography. For me, I'm sure that there is for Bob because he's a person, but he was classified, so I had no access to any understanding of who he was or where he'd come from. Um, so a lot of it was imagined by the writer and the director and me, and uh, certainly listening to the perspective of the soldiers who worked with him, asking them, talking to them about their impression of Bob, uh, was helpful, sometimes not as helpful. Um, I think I think in the, you know, if you look at the, the arc of the story of the movie, that there is a great antagonistic relationship between the person who is in charge of the station and the person who is in charge of the soldiers defending that station. Um, and, uh, and, and I think, you know, one of the things that really interested me about the character and about the situation even, because I didn't know much about what had happened in the annex, and I, I think I'd known mo much more about what had happened to the consulate than at the annex, was um, all of these people were working for the government. They all worked for the CIA. Soldiers did, Bob did, the people of the analysts did. And they believed that they were doing their job well. They wanted to do their job well. And I, I think I sort of really felt a responsibility to, to try to embody that person, not as a two-dimensional character, not as just an antagonist or the person who's getting in the way of allowing these soldiers to do their job. But like all of us, when you're at work, sometimes there's somebody who prevents you from doing it the way you feel like you should do your job. Your editor, your producer, looks at you and is like, why are you writing? I don't like what you wrote. And you're like, hmm, I do. I like what I wrote. Uh, and they're like, well, you have to change it. And that sense of, I don't think, in that situation too, if somebody is giving you criticism or preventing you from doing what you want, is, it isn't always bad. It isn't always just um, antagonistic. It's because they're trying also to do their job well. And uh, I, think, uh, I think ultimately you, you see that in Bob because of, at the very end, his inclination is to stay. He wants to stay, to continue doing his job because he felt like last night, the situation that we got in where we've now destroyed all the intelligence we've gathered here has gone wrong and he wants to keep gathering intelligence. There's more work to be done. And that was, a, that was intriguing to me on a personal level, to get to work with, to, to create a character that um, you, get, you understand what his own personal integrity was about his job and the responsibility that he had to, to the lives of the people who worked for him. Now, this movie is probably gonna become a political ping pong, don't you think? Um, well, I guess the question, uh, uh, I guess it's, it's easy to uh, think about, it, it's, it's easy. I, I think one of the things that when you look at the movie like this is that you have to separate two, th two things, partisanship and political. Um, everything is political. You're here, you're, you have glasses on your shirt, the shirt that you bought, where you bought it, how you live, where you live, is political, right? Um, it's not partisan. I don't know what your politics are. I don't know what your partisan politics are. And I'm not particularly interested in the filmmakers or the writers or even the guys who were there, their partisan politics. I think um, the story that they're telling, because it's a fact-based story, it's a historical story, while it is not a historical document, it's not a documentary, it is, it is something that it's too easy to um, conflate those two things the political situation and a partisan reading of that political situation, I think is a very dangerous, and it's not what movies are made for, ultimately. It's not this kind of movie, certainly. Uh, this is m really more a story about who those men were, their connection to their families, what they were doing there, their job. Um, and I think, I think the danger of, of making it, a of, of reading the movie as in any partisan way is that uh, it's easy to, and it's sort of in vogue now to denigrate people who serve the government in our country. All these people work for the government, and I believe that they are trying to do their job in a responsible and good way. And I think sometimes things go wrong, and sometimes it's hard to know 
it's hard to know what to do. But I don't think those people are irresponsible in their duties and, and their dedication to their job. They were all working in a place that was extremely dangerous and extremely fluid, um, and they were trying to figure it out. So I think that, to me, as an actor, that is more the responsibility that I have. And I think the way that people interpret it will be the way that they interpret it. And I don't think, uh, but I, but I do think, I do think it would be a disservice to them, and to the movie certainly, if all it does is become, as you say, a partisan. I would say a partisan ping pong ball, not a political ping pong ball.